for the best. Hey, my name is Zeb and welcome to the Temple of No, a game by Crows, Crows, Crows. Let's game click on line words to play. Hello, the story may frighten and disturb you, but if you have a stomach, a smart brain box and a cool face, then perhaps you are brave enough to hear it. Like a storm? Enough of that, this isn't about you. Anyway, are you ready? Yeah. Good. This is a story that took place a long time ago. It's a good one. Anyway, let's get this old dusty tome and hear this fantastic tale. It's called... The Temple of No. And so, this um, is a magical book. The magical power is to be incredible, relatable. Moment, <laughs> bloke, oh, I'm a frog. Okay, I'm going to level with you. You're playing the real game here. I have to write a whole load of bullshit about subversing the expectation of Twine games for the man and woman option. And to be honest, I didn't think those jokes are brilliant. The frogs is actually genuinely what this whole game is about. In fact, I'm going to now stop putting any effort into writing the other branches of the I'm going to focus entirely on this one. Well done for picking the interesting option. I hope you like it. Old froggy pants lived in slimy bottom, a small fishing village down in the heart of Yorkshire. It's paddled a small boat around and ferried smaller animals to and fro from each side of the pond. And on Sundays, it paddled down the animal market and buy twelve fly cakes, one for each of its tadpole children. But this Sunday was different. There was a strange taste in the air and air as it paddled down the stream. It knew its cold blooded froggy heart that it missed its day of world adventure. In its youth it had traveled the world and explored new non-froggy areas. Many of its discoveries had shaped the development of frog culture and frog history. But after enjoying the quiet life frog o knew, it was time to step foot into the world of adventure once more. Now here's a crash course on our frog's old adventures history. Frog pants lost an eye in a massive fucking fight with the baboon. It killed the baboon and is one Badass frog. Don't fuck with the frog. It once traveled to Antarctica and stole 22 penguin eggs. It is a master of stealth. It could sneak up to you and break your neck easily. Really easily. Okay, you're ready. Let's get down straight into the story. Fuck. Jungle transition audio. You notice this? The pressure quiz didn't have this. Right. Right, let's go right into the story. Froggy Pants entered the jungle of Dove on its journey to find. This is a map that sees all things that ever have been or will be by the map fawn. The map was legendary. The old tales spoke about it. Yeah, you know, the old tales. Yeah! Anyway. Anyway, so Froggy Pants knew it proper wanted the map to tell it the secret of the universe. If it brought the map back to civilization, it would truly achieve greatness. It knew it in its cold-blooded, slimy frog heart. The temple that held the map was so close. Froggy Pant looked up, down, all around. Up at the mossy green leaves of the giant jungle trees that reached high above it. They spread out, and sometimes you could barely see the sun. It was in the heart of the jungle, and it knew its price was near. Down. Down at the ground. It didn't know why it was looking down, but it could see some dirt, a bit of gum wrapper, some tears or jungle resin had left on the floor, and a broken light bulb. Clean up your litter, kids! Don't pollute the environment. You peer inquisitively at the disgusting broken light bulb. Hey, my name is Mr. Vance, I'm dying, dying, I tell ya! That's what's up, yo! Did you br bring the stuff? Oh, Jimmy Flippers, this broken little bulb is babbling some bullshit. You blurt out the first thing that comes to mind. No. You don't have the stuff! Could you go get a place? Because, like, I don't mean to be a jerk, but I'm dying here. Jungle ain't no place or light bulb like me, I need the stuff to survive. Froggy Pants stumbled backwards awkwardly, away from the talking light bulb. As froggy pants cut through the leaves and brush and flora and jungle debris, it thought about some shit, sang and sung, considered the possible that life was futile. It thought of 
it would sing a little song. You, the player, must sing along the background music for these lyrics. If you don't, you will know that you have to let yourself down if you don't really fucking enjoy the game because you put effort into it. These lyrics are sung. I was cutting the leaves, I was pushing the back the trees, I'm slashing away these, brushing flora and jungle debris. My name is Rocky Pan, and I'm singing a song. Take up the time while I'm trying along. The path of double no! That is where I am going to go. I'm cutting the leaves, I'm pushing past the trees, I'm flashing away these. Brush, flower, and jungle the breeze. I'm going on an adventure today. This game is really, really fun to play. Twine game can be fun, I will shout. Check up me, out me sing the jungle of doubt. Cutting leaves, brushing past the trees, I'm slashing away these. Brush of flora, thumb, jungle please. Soon I'll be at the temple of no. It's going to be treasure. Uh, you know, take some back to my town. Keep it for myself and sharing around. I'm cutting the trees, slashing the trees, slashing away these. Brushing flower, jungle the priest. If you don't sing along, that you said no. You need to let your fun and try to be serious. If you didn't sing it, please scroll back up and try again. <laughs> You're cool now. <laughs> Froggy Pants wasn't there yet. It still had so much jungle culture, so... Oh, for fuck's sake! Yes, this was just a let's show, more or less. Because it's a good game. Play it yourself. And don't forget, <laughs> we'll meet each other. I'll see you tomorrow.